We left the port of Argos laden with silk and spices. In the night a storm ravaged our ship and they boarded us. It was a slaughter. They asked no quarter, said nothing as their bones rattled and slew us man by man. I barely escaped with my life. Okay, start by tracing a basic boat shape and then folding it in half so you get a perfectly symmetrical cut. Once that done, I put the template down on a piece of uh, foam board from the dollar store and just cut out the shape. I'm going to make two of these. And you're going to want to trim down the second one just slightly to make it slightly smaller than your other piece so that you have a top and a bottom. Then I tack down the bigger piece of the two. Uh, I'm going to cut this out with XPS using a foam carver. You can use a sharp knife if you, you don't have access to one, but uh, this will save you a bunch of time. I cut out some uh, shapes using this, the side of the ship as a guide here. Uh, and in retrospect, I didn't really need this step, especially if you're using a solid body. You can, you could glue your planks right on if you're, you know, if you're using a hollow body, you don't have to worry about it. For the forecast on poop deck, I just cut out a wedge shape here using some uh, scrap foam. Uh, a proxon will help you really accelerate this process, but again, a good sharp uh, utility knife will be uh, your best friend here if you don't have access to a proxon. And if all goes right, here's the basic shape of the boat starting to take form. So there are a lot of different techniques for weathering wood. Uh, this tip was sent in from Frithgar. Uh, use an old jeweler's blade uh, and just scrape it along and it'll give you a nice wood texture. You can use pins. Uh, there are a number of different ways, but this worked really fast and was an interesting technique I never tried before.
And kind of a small piece of black granny grating for the bilge down below. give the planks on the side a finished look. I just used little sewing needle pins here. Uh, it looks like nail heads. Uh, once you push it in and it'll hold the balsa wood with the glue. It's a nice little trick and it looks really nice. So here's where the build might start to differ for you if you just want to build a pirate ship instead of an undead pirate ship. Um, you could probably skip this section if you're just looking to build a, a regular ship and build a, a regular poop deck with a rail on the back. Um, but my idea here is that uh, the ship is controlled by some kind of powerful undead that needs a, a place to rest during the daylight hours. The finished deck was looking a little plain, so I went ahead and used some extra balsa strips to flush out uh, nice railings on the sides and top of the deck.
So here's another point of difference. If you're not making an undead ship, uh, you could use an uh, old handle of a paintbrush or something like that for the bow sprit. Uh, this is the rammy looking thing that comes off the front of a ship. For the sails, I use a white t-shirt soaked in glue. I've talked about this technique in a few different videos I'll link up top. Um, but it's really simple. Just dip this in some white glue and water and uh, let it soak and dry overnight and you'll have a nice, firm, stiff sail. Okay, so when it came to shingling my mausoleum roof, I got really stuck here. So looking around, I went to uh, one of my favorite channels, Max DM, episode 14. He showed you a couple different techniques, and I chose the uh, wood coffee stick technique. And it looks amazing, but you're prepared to sink a few hours into this if you choose to go that way. Okay, so after dry brushing the sails uh, with antique white, I used some AK Interactive Slimy Dark Green to really give it uh, a moldy look. You could use any dark green you have on hand, but uh, I really like AK Interactive products and I think they look fantastic. <laughs> 